You have faced some of the most difficult exams and are the smartest in your class now. You have so much confidence for the next exam tomorrow, but your overly annoying competitive classmate knows your weakness. You cannot convert fractions into decimal numbers. You hate doing this conversion and it's already too late to catch up. Your enthusiasm is now ruined and your life will become a mess. But don't worry, we are here to show you how to do it easily so you can regain your confidence. Let us start the conversion of fractions into decimal numbers. Fractions can be converted to decimals by using several methods. Let's jump to the first method, that is the reverse of the thumb rule in decimal numbers. This is only applicable for the fractions whose denominator is the power of 10. You can revisit the video about decimal numbers to refresh your memory. Here is the thumb rule. The decimal point is placed at a specific position exactly to the right of the unit position of the whole number. Once you remove the decimal, the number will be divided by powers of 10, equal to the number of spaces after the decimal point counting from the left. To convert a fraction to a decimal number, we have to use the thumb rule reversely. Suppose that we want to put 3 over 10 as a decimal. This fraction has one zero in the denominator, so the index of 10 is 1. As we divide by 10 to the power of 1, we put the decimal point after one space from the right. Thus, the answer is 0 0.3. If the denominator is not in the base of 10, we can use the second method. We have to change the fraction into its equivalent fraction whose denominator is in the power of 10, such as 10, 100, 1000, and so on. Then, the equivalent fraction is converted to decimal by using the first method. So, what is 1 over 2 as a decimal? We have two steps here. First, finding an equivalent fraction. 5 over 10 is one of the equivalent fractions for 1 over 2. After that, we can convert 5 over 10 using the reverse rule of decimal number as previously explained, which gives the result 0 0.5. The other way is by using the long division method. Let's say we have the common fraction 13 over 8. To convert this to a decimal, we divide the numerator, 13, by denominator, 8, by using the long division method. At first, we divide 13 by 8, and we get 1, because the multiplication of 1 by 8 is 8, which makes almost 13. Next step is to find the difference between 13 and 8 that comes out as 5. Now, as 5 is the remainder and is less than 8, to continue the long division process, we have to introduce a 0 to 5 that adds a decimal point in the quotient value. After introducing the 0, we will continue dividing the remainder by the denominator until the remainder is 0. Here, we have completely divided 13 by 8 until we obtain 0 as the remainder, so the fraction has now been converted into a decimal number that is 1.625. Now, let's throw a problem at you to test your decimal muscle. Follow the process and convert 9 over 4 into a decimal number by the long division method. Pause the video and solve the problem. Resume the video once you have solved it to check the answer on the screen. The answer is 2.25. Aced it? Yeah. Congratulations. Now that you have become a genius in all fields of mathematics, show them that you can transform 27 over 145 into a decimal. And brag about your answer in the comments section below.